Welcome back to the channel. It's spooky season. Oh my god, hold on. Oh my god, so loud. But today we are doing what everybody else does. It's a Trader Joe's haul stuff, trying pumpkin stuff. We'll work on the title later. But I'm super excited for this because I've probably said this before, but I'm gonna say it again. Fall is one of my favorite times of the year. And I love Trader Joe's. My mom and I go on little Trader Joe's trips literally all the time. And I found all of this stuff that I don't think I've ever tried before from Trader Joe's. There might be like one thing. Oh, excuse me. There might be like one thing. Oh my God. Okay, there might be one thing that I have tried before. I think it was this pasta sauce. Everything else is new news. I don't know how it's gonna taste. And so let's be like every other basic boo and do a Trader Joe's haul. So I'm just gonna, okay, we'll be with you shortly. So first we're gonna start by putting these in the oven cause they gotta bake. So, so this must have been by like pickles or something cause it smells like pickles, okay. Wait, what was the direction? Two inches apart. That's pretty far apart. They must like really expand. Okay, I know what you're gonna say. Stephanie, why aren't you putting parchment paper down or anything? I honestly don't feel like dealing with the parchment paper. So we're just putting them right on here. I think that's like, no, it's probably like more like an inch. Actually, there's only five of them, so whatever. And it comes with some like, I don't know why I keep saying cute, but it comes with some frosting. Oh my God, I'm like way over here. All right, so let's put these in. Okay. So Okay, that's efficient. Okay, the next thing is, see, I probably should make pasta because I have literally, that's a, that's a bisque, bisque. I think that's one of those words, if you look at it or say it too many times, it'll just sound wrong. I have two pasta sauces, so I guess we'll make pasta. But to kind of hold this over, let's try the cinnamon, I don't want to say cinnamon, oh my God. Cinnamon bun cookies, because these just look good. They're not like super, super fall, but it was like part of Trader Joe's like, you know, fall flyers thing. So let's see, ooh, okay. I don't know why it's not how I expect them to look because probably because they don't look like the picture, like at all. I don't know if you can see that, but it's all good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, oh yeah. That's a nine out of 10. I'm only saying a nine. I wish there was like a tad bit softer, but oh my God, we have to get those. They only come with 12 cookies. I mean, that's probably the better. Cause you know, trying to be healthy, I have all this stuff in the way. Okay. Wait, I also want to try the chocolate mousse pumpkins because they just first of all they look cute. And I'm curious to know if they taste like pumpkin or if they just look like a pumpkin because it says it's chocolate mousse. Mm. Honestly, that's like a six and a half just because it's really good super creamy but it's almost like so rich they're like like i'm already like it's too much and i only ate half of it so i guess if you don't mind them that's fine but also it's just chocolate there's no pumpkin not that everything fall really needs to be pumpkin but i was expecting like pumpkin flavor in there you know what i decide we're just gonna also this need to cook right out of the way um so next is the pumpkin spice teeny tiny pretzels and so I think, here you go. Here's a pretzel. You can have it. I saved it for you. you. That is absolutely ridiculous. Like sure, I could break it apart, but what if I don't want to? Well, well oh my God, how much I thought? Oh, that's what it was. So last year we got, we thought we got these pumpkin pretzels, but I think they changed them because they used to be like the thin ones and they were so good. My mom said, cause she tried them already. She said they taste different. So let's just give it a go. That's like a five, maybe even a four. Because honestly, it tastes more like, like it's definitely yogurt, but then it's also like, okay. but then it's also just like gingery. Like not aggressively spicy, but it's not like pumpkin spice like I'm wanting. So that's kind of sad. Okay, so, so far the cinnamon, I keep wanting to call them cinnamon, but the cinnamon bun cookies are the best. Let's try, I need this up in the microwave. Okay, well. Shake all of them now. Mm, I can do the microwave. I'm gonna grossly rub my nose again. Okay, so let's make 
the soups. Do you want a montage? Just tell me. Tell me. Just come closer. Just whisper in my ear. Do you want a montage? Well, you're getting a montage, so roll the clip. for probably like 10 minutes my phone died i think this is a sign i just need to get a camera so we're retry i'll retry it for you i'll retry it so we're trying the pumpkin alfredo sauce and i rated this five out of five because more well, burp. because it's not bad but it's not great and it's kind of weird like i could see myself finishing the jar but like i don't know if i'd get it again so i was looking sauces on that oh my god i'm so mad so next, we're trying the Animal Harvest Creamy Pasta Sauce, which is the one that I was like pretty sure that I tried again, and I was, and I did. Mm. And this one's more like a seven and a half, because it's like different because it has the pumpkin and the butter squash, right? White. But it's like still salty. I don't know, it's, just, it's good. And I would get that again, which makes sense, because I think that's the one I got. And then... We're trying the pumpkin brioche twist, which this was, oh my God, this was so good. Nine out of 10, for sure. Because it's absolutely delicious. French toast, I think for sure be a 10 out of 10, but like, I think it kind of very slightly, not a lot, very slightly, kind of like dried it out a bit when I toasted it. So I'm gonna toast again. Oh, also, I have to retell all my stories. So I'm using pumpkin butter from my local farmer's market and her name, of the ladies, literally the jam lady. Like, that's her name. It's so creative. My boyfriend first pointed her out and he's like, oh, look, it's the jam lady. Like, I thought he was just like describing her. I was like, oh my God, like, like, oh, we should go to go to her. He's like, no, like, that's her name. And I was like, oh my God, so fucking cute and innovative. It was really good with it. But then it also says like, you could use it as a sandwich. What sandwich would you use it? Like, I'm not gonna be putting turkey and cheese or pepperoni on a pumpkin bread. Like, I literally can't think of any sandwich. Like, what sandwich? If you can think of any, let me know. Because all, all I can think about is a savory sandwich. So it's just, it just doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. Okay, I think we're caught up. So now we're trying the Rasselet sliced cheese, which I'm totally butchering that. And this was another thing that, like, it was classified in the fall flyers list. But it's not, like, it doesn't seem like a fall thing. It's from, it's I guess a product from France. And I think it's just like a fall, I think actually you're supposed to melt it on stuff, I think. I was about to just eat it flying. Oh yeah, it's classic melting cheese, perfect in the fall and winter. Served over boiled or steamed potatoes. So other vegetables, oh, and charcuterie, okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna eat like this cause I'm kind of curious to just try the cheese. Mm. Mm. It reminds me of a cheese, oh my God. I wish you guys could try it. Can you hear, you wanna take a bite? You wanna take a bite? What does it taste like? Oh my God. Uh, oh, okay. I think this could be it. It's a really, uh, it tastes like an aggressive Swiss. Like if the Swiss got really freaking pissed off, that's what it reminded me of. It's almost, I think it'd be better on, maybe with like a jam to kind of chill it out or a vegetable or something, obviously. But with just a plain cracker, I think it's a little much or by itself, like I just did. So, oh, we also tried this pumpkin spice cream liqueur and I don't know if it's recorded, so. 
If you are not 21, do not consume, don't even look at it. And I'll just like, I'll do it for you. But if you are 21, we're gonna try it. So to try it in coffee or over ice. So we're gonna try it in coffee because I just feel like it should be warm. I don't know, I just feel like it. So let's brew the coffee. I'm gonna be bold and try it with the pumpkin spice coffee, so. Why is she coming out like that? Looks like she's coming out like a bad poop. Like if you eat something bad, you know? It's not like a steady stream. It's just not. <sighs> My God, finally, that took so long. Okay. Oh, first of all impression, it just was intense. I don't know why I thought, excuse you, interrupted. I don't know why I thought I was gonna like not be strong. I don't see, that was a lot, but like, I want it to be like my coffee, you know? Stir up, that's probably about the color, okay. Does that have to go in the fridge now? I feel like it does. No, nope, doesn't tell me. Great, thanks for your guys. Now like I said, I was very ambitious and I'm trying it with pumpkin coffee. So I probably shouldn't have because it might ruin that, but let's just see. It actually smells pretty good. Like you can't, like you can smell the liquor a little bit, but I don't know why I'm like nervous. I'm feeling really anxious, okay, here we go. Uh, see, I don't know why I did that. I can't tell if it's the coffee or that. Okay, okay, that's a waste, but, oh, okay, wait. Okay, I'm not trying to get crunk by myself, so I'm just gonna put it in this tiny, this tiny shot glass, just to get it cold, and then we'll like try it by itself. Cause it could be the coffee, I don't know. I don't know, why do I keep smelling it? Why do I keep smelling it? It's intense, it tastes, it smells like alcohol with like cream. Actually, it's not terrible. Probably was the stupid coffee. It's not bad. I just honestly, I don't know. I'm gonna have to pee. Oh my god, I hate when you have to pee, and it's like it's not convenient. But it's actually not bad. I'd probably see myself drinking it on the rocks. Like that's the only time I would because in coffee, it's not good. Maybe in hot apple cider, but I don't know. I feel like that was, I don't know if those would go. So I don't know. But it's not bad. What would I rate it though? I like a six and a half, but I feel like I'm a little biased because I don't drink often. So for me, like the initial flavor is just like alcohol, but actually the after flavor is great because it's very smooth going down. So actually I'd bump it up to a seven and I would get it again. I just don't know where else I'd use it besides on the rock. So, oh my God, my, my station is a mess. Let me just tell you. And everybody for the grand finale, we have pumpkin ice cream. Now I have to tell you guys something. I have to be honest. I already tried this. My family already tried this. And let me tell you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get another scoop. This is good. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm. Ten out of ten. Would get again. Nice, creamy. Literally tastes like a pumpkin pie in your mouth. Mm. They're so good. Very rich. So you probably can't have like a lot, a lot, but so freaking good. This is literally the best thing there. So. To recap, the best things I think you should get from Trader Joe's this fall is the pumpkin ice cream, the Cinnabon cookies, the cinnamon rolls, and then the pumpkin brioche twist. These, oh my God, these four items I think are the best they have. This is a very, this is an honorable mention, the cheese, because it was still pretty good. Like I said, prepare for it to be a long time. So I promise, I feel like if you put it with something else, it'll actually be really good. Now for the things you should avoid is the pumpkin bisque, that was not it. That was gross. And then the pumpkin spiced, yeah, right? Yeah, I would say the pumpkin spice teeny weeny tiny things because they just weren't it. And then potentially the chocolate mousse pumpkins just cause it's not a pumpkin thing. Like it is not a pumpkin thing. But hit that like and subscribe button, please. You know, if you wanna be part of a cool community or whatever. But thanks so much for watching. I have so many great ideas in store. Sorry I didn't post last week. I'm trying my very best. It's a lot to balance school, TikTok, it's just a lot. But I'm working on it, I promise. Like I always say, if you have any kind of recommendations of what you want me to do, leave a comment down below and eventually I'll get around to reading them. And I'll see you guys next week, potentially, maybe, for another great video. I guess we'll use alcohol and cheers.